Hello and welcome! Today I have a great method for graphing a line when it's written in standard form. Now if you're curious, hey, what does standard form look like? It looks like this example below. Things you want to recognize is the x and y are both on the same side of the equation, and that uh, we're not having to deal with any fractions or negative signs in front of x. Now we'll also be able to apply this uh, uh, technique to other equations that are technically not in standard form, but the key is that you have these x's and y's on the same side of that equal sign. So let's go ahead and get started and see how this method works. I'm going to start off by graphing the line 4x plus 3y is equal to 24. Now the way we make this work is we actually create a small little chart and we end up putting in a value for x and y. And that special value is 0. Now what we're looking to do is find our x and y intercepts using this method. Alright, so if you put in x into the equation, it's going to knock out this entire term. Now what that does is it simplifies the equation, and then you have something like this. 3y is equal to 24, and that can be solved fairly quickly. Uh, in order for this to work out, uh, y must be an 8. Okay, So we'll go ahead and put that in our chart. So when x equals 0, y would have to be 8. Now we'll do the same thing for the y. So plug in a 0 for y, that term is gone. And now what does x have to be? Well, 4 times 6 is the only thing that will give me a 24, so I will say that x is equal to 6. Now it's, it's really nice and quick to put in those zeros, and now we have two points that are on our line, and from those two points, now we can make the entire graph. Let's go ahead and plot these out. So the first point right here is at 0, 8, so x equals 0, y equals 8. I'll put a point way up here. And the next point, x equals 6 and y equals 0, that would put my point right there. Now that we have two points, we can go ahead and connect those together. And there you go, there's the graph of the line. Nice, simple, and quick, just like that. Now let's do this uh, one more time with something that's technically not in standard form, but you'll see that this method will work out just as good. We're going to graph a negative 7x plus 4y is equal to 21. And the reason why this one is technically not in standard form has to do with that negative sign in front of the x. But that's okay. Uh, this one will still be good. So again, we'll make our little chart here. And we'll plug in a 0 for x and a 0 for y. Okay? So if x equals 0, looks like it would force my y to be a 21 fourths. Now it's okay to get fractions when using this method. And just to make uh, maybe graphing easier, go ahead and reduce this fraction. Uh, so 4 goes into 25 times. We'll have 1 fourth left over. So 5 and 1 fourth. All right, let's get our second point. When y equals 0, looks like x must be a negative 3. Because a negative times a negative would equal a positive. That's exactly what we have on the other side. So negative 3. All right, now that we have our two points, let's put them on the graph. See what this line looks like. So I have 0, 5 and 1 quarter, negative 3, and 0. i grab my ruler here. And now we have the graph of the entire line. So feel free to use this method anytime you have that x and y on the same side of the equation and you're sure it's a line. Now there is one word of warning that I have to tell you about, is watch for your equation being set equal to zero. The reason why this causes a problem is uh, your line will actually go through the origin and when you try and set up this little table, you'll get the same point over and over. Let me, let me show you what I got. So this time, if I plug in a 0 for x, the only thing that y can be is 0. So, you know, I can use that as one of my points on the graph. Now, if I do the same thing with y, set that equal to 0, this shows that x must be 0. Now, this is a problem because the point 0, 0 is the same as this point 0, 0, and I need two points in order to do the entire line. Well, the workaround that you can do is basically simply use a different point. So plug in something other than zero for one of your variables and see what the other one has to be. 
So this time I'm going to plug in 10 for X and have to do a little bit more work, but it'll be okay. Uh, I can see that this will be 20, and then I can subtract that from both sides. So I have negative 5Y is equal to negative 20. Therefore, Y must equal a positive 4. There we go. And now I'd end up using these two points right here to go ahead and graph that line. Remember, you need at least two points to graph a line. As soon as you got them, you're good to go. Well, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.